Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and what we're going to do today is work on our signatures for this little journal. This is a material cover, it's a soft cover, and we're going to work on our signatures today for this. Now what I have done is took a piece of scrapbook paper. I'm going to put a piece of scrapbook paper on the front of all of my signatures, and I'm going to try to put three signatures in here. So I have cut this at 8 and 5 eighths, and then I left it at the 12 inches and then I folded it in the center and that's going to be kind of my template so I don't need to make any uh, pages larger than this I can make them smaller but I don't need to make any that are larger than this so that gives me kind of a guide to go by when I start bringing my signatures together so I've got one of those I've also got another one cut here, so there's two of them. I'm just going to kind of separate out some of my pieces, put them in the different signatures. This is our music page. Now we know that we're probably going to have to cut this off or trim it off, and I may just tear it. Yeah, see it's a little bit too tall. It's okay on the width, but it's a little bit too tall, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my ruler right here and most of this vintage paper tears pretty well because it is so old and I, boy, I tore that crooked crooked as a dog's hind leg so let's try that again so maybe that'll work a little better but um, most of this tears really well. It's just vintage and old, so it's very brittle. There we go. So we've got that one. And then on this one, we just need to tear this down. I think I will... I'm going to put it right up against that. That helps me tear if I can put it up against something. It's been carried a little bit straighter anyway. All right, so there is that piece in there. These we know fit, and I'm going to put mine sideways. I don't care if that if the lines are right side up or upside down or sideways. It doesn't matter. Now this is so brittle. I don't know, but I think once I get it in there, it'll be okay. Let's see. That one tore a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to put that in there, and then I'm going to get, and yes, right now I've just got three, or I've just got two signatures going. I will pull the other one in in just a second. All right, let's find another piece of scrapbook paper that we can use for the third signature. Oh, I love this one, and I'm not sure... Not sure if one of you guys gave this one to me or not. I can't remember, but I'm going to trim this off. This one may have come from Melina's stash. I'm not sure. That little piece off the bottom. Oops. And then let's see. I want my butterflies to go that way. I need to cut this at eight and five eighths. Oh, all right. So there is our third one. Look at that, that's pretty too. Let's go where the Wi-Fi is weak and the sun is strong, love that. I was just there. We had hardly no Wi-Fi. Well, I have to admit, the Wi-Fi in that condo was a lot better than the Wi-Fi's in some of the condos that I've been in before. It was pretty good. I was able to upload a video or two. All right, we've got that. Let's go ahead and catch that signature up by putting some things in there. Let's grab this book page. Oh, see when I, I don't know if this, these book pages will work or not. When I folded that, it just cracked. So 
so we'll see. I doubt if when I st stitch that in, it probably will not. We may have to end up taking that out or just attaching it to something else. But I always attach it to another sheet or put something on the back of it and make a pocket out of it. A lot of different ways you can use those brittle papers just to be able to um, savor them. You know, you want to save your papers and things, these old vintage things, and this is just a good way to do it. And having to attach them to something else is okay with me as long as it saves it. All right. Now I think we're basically caught up. So then we can start again. Let's see. Now that's probably going to come apart, but we're going to put it in for now. And then if nothing else, we can um, attach it to something. I'm going to use this piece of that one. I think that's pretty. Put that in there. Or maybe we'll put that in this one. And then I've got some scrapbook paper here that I've been hoarding for a while. Now when they're too tall like this, and that piece is definitely too tall, you can fold it up and then that can be a pocket down here. You could put something else up here. We'll probably end up doing some stamping, stitching, different things on that. So that's just some things that you can do to make your little signatures pretty. But remember, this is a junk journal, so you're not wanting to dress it up too sweet. You just want to keep it, keep everything kind of in line. All right, then we've got a vellum piece here. We'll put uh, this piece there. Got another piece of scrapbook paper right here. And the scrapbook paper, this is kind of thin. It's not very thick at all. So that's why I'm including it in the center part. It's not thick. This is just some scraps that I've had for a long time. I'm going to make sure that is not too wide. And it is. So what I need to do, let's see. I may just make a, ooh, I didn't know the butterflies was on that side. And that has a little barcode there. So I think I'll cut the barcode off. And I'm using my little scissors. It's just going to take me a little bit longer. Cut the barcode off. Then, let's see. How do I want to do this? I think I might fold this over this way. And that'll go in the sign this will sew in the signature here, and then I'll have this on the front. Then I just need to trim it off at the right height. Then all I'm gonna do is tear it. I'm not gonna not gonna worry about it. So that is a page. See, that'll sew right there. This side will just have a little piece on there, or you can do this. If you don't want this little piece here with nothing, you know, nothing on there, what you can do is take another piece of paper and just stitch it to that, like that. And then you've got a full piece here, or glue it to that. Then you've got a full piece over here. So we might do that later. Let's see what we do with this. Let's see. I'm just going to tear that little barcode off, I think. Or maybe I won't. No, I'll have to. Tear that little barcode off. And then... And I think I like this one just like it is. I don't think I'll fold it the other way. Just fold that one like that. Some of these papers are so old. I've had them forever. <laughs> In my hoard vault. Can you believe that? Why was I hoarding these? Mm 
these are long since discontinued and I just thought they were the prettiest papers with those butterflies and all of that on there that I'm scared to death I wouldn't ever be able to get any more so isn't that pretty look at that so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tear this off and then I'd like for my flowers to be the right way up so I'm just going to fold over just a little piece, just enough to stitch in my signature, like that. And then we'll just make sure that it's not too tall by tearing a piece off. And I think on this one, I'm just going to tear it rough, 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 rough. See, that's got a white core. That's that old white core paper. Love that. Let's see. Let's put that one over there. Here's another. Some of these are just, they bring back a lot of memories from many, many moons ago. That is going to be the right width right there. Ooh, look at that. Mm telling you. I'm a sucker for some of these papers that have flowers and butterflies on them. Let's see, what shall I do with this one? I think putting that one sideways is not going to hurt. And what I'm going to do is just fold up a little tuck on each end and then I'll fold it like this and then we'll have two tucks on each end of that and of course you could always fold this one around this way if you wanted to and have a tuck on this side and then one on that side doesn't matter whichever one you want to do I'm just gonna lay that there hmm that's cute. All right, I don't think I'm going to include that. Let's go back and grab some. We've got a lot of scrapbook paper in there, so let's go back and grab some of this. I'm going to lay this out of the way so that I can have, a, have room to tear. think, let's see, I don't want to get this too tall. I'm going to tear that off right there. Right above that word that I have no idea what it says. I'll lay this up there. I think I'm going to use my this ruler to tear this one. This is just one of those wavy rulers, if it'll tear, without me having to hold it too tight. This is an old Creative Memories ruler. I'm not sure. Somebody said they were still in business, but... um. I used to work for them many moons ago, many, many moons ago, and I've still got a lot of their tools. All right, so we will put this one in like this, and let's see, let's put it there. And this one let's see how do we want to do that let's just put it in like that those words go in all different directions so it doesn't matter and then this now I'm pretty sure this is going to be too wide yes so if I want to sew this in the signature, 
then I need to trim it down on this side right here and at the top so I need to trim this down and this down these and a lot of these are quite on the on the opposite side and that's okay we can still use that we can still go with that we'll just put pockets on that side or uh, we'll put some pockets stamping journaling whatever isn't that pretty on there on that side and I'm going to use this even though it's discolored from my printer because I can always come back and put some pockets on here and different things and I love that image right there so that doesn't bother me at all these are some I think I think these are from my porch prints I believe if I'm not mistaken don't quote me on that but I think they are let's see need to trim the edges of that one off and that one and this is just some tissue paper that we'll put in like that some Edith Holden book pages an old <laughs> man's cardigan in knit old book page we'll put that in there and then love 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 maps to put in let's fold it that way well dictionary page well i think that's actually an index page this is alice's adventures in wonderland book And then we have a doily, and I'll probably grab some more doilies to put in each one of the signatures. I'm not sure. We'll decide in a little while. And then these dyed papers. I hope this helps. I, I know to some of you it may be boring. But I've had so many people who say they have no clue how to do the signatures and would I please just slow down and do them. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show you step by step how I kind of bring my signatures together. And I'm just going to tear the edges of this off. I don't do any two signatures the same. They're all kind of random. But uh, I love to use papers that you guys have sent me, papers that I've got from different places, magazine papers. Right now, I'm kind of out of magazine papers. That's the only problem. I don't really have any magazines right now that I can use. A little bit more right here. And see, this is how you do it. You just kind of make a big mess, like I'm doing. And then you just bring it all together. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. And then we'll tear this off. All right, now what should I do with this one? I think on this one I'm just going to fold it over just a little and I'll put it in there like that. Maybe like that. Yeah, so that will be the page that shows there. And let's see how big our signatures are. Well, they're not real full, but by the time we stitch everything in, this one seems fuller than that one. Let's put something on that. By the, 
by the time we stitch all three of them in there, it's going to be full. It is going to be full. So there are our three signatures. I think that is cute. Then what you do is you take your cover. This is going to be my cover of my signature. And then you just start inserting what pages you want to come first, second, on through like that. And a lot of times I will change my mind two or three times. I'll put them in and then I'll move them around. Uh, I like to just kind of put them in there and then look at it and then I will move them probably a couple of times. You don't want to put two, you know, little small ones together. If you can help it, like this one and this one, I wouldn't want to put together unless I didn't have any other choice. Now these two I could because that one's kind of large there. I'd slide this one all the way down, that one all the way up, and then I'd bring in maybe that one. No, that one looks too much like that one. Let's bring in this one maybe with a pocket there. Then another book page. And that book page is going to be up at the top, but it's probably not going to stay. So I'll probably have to end up backing it with something. And I go ahead and put mine in like this before I decide if I'm going to tear or stitch on the different pages just because I like to look at it first and see if I want to be tearing them, stitching them, uh, inking on them, stamping them, whatever that I want to do with them. I like to put them in there first like that. This one I need to put somewhere else. Got too many little ones together right here at the end. So let's go back and insert this one in here. And we shall I think that will be all right. I'm just going to put them in. Like I said, I'll change my mind two or three different times before it's all said and done. Put that for the center part right there. Okay, that is what that signature will look like. Now, then I kind of, I clip them together usually, and then I kind of go through and go, well, I want to move that one because I don't like how it looks there, or... I might want to stamp on this one or stitch on that one or tear that one. So I usually just clip right at the middle like that. And then I just kind of go back through. So that one's okay. That one, I definitely want to do some stamping or something on this side. And then that one, I want to either make a pocket or do some stamping on. That little piece, I may attach another little piece to that. And then that page is fine. I like that. I'll probably put a pocket or something on here. So, yeah, that's what I do. So I just kind of go through and look. So I've got some stitching and stamping that I know I want to do on that. So I'm just going to lay that one aside. And then we'll go to this one, and I'll just kind of do the same thing. I'll just open it up and start out with a page. We'll just start out with this music page, and then we'll grab some smaller pages.
Now, I still have, I have a couple that are sticking out further than my cover. So I'll probably go back in and tear these off, the ones that are sticking out too far. I'll tear those off so that they don't stick out further than my cover. Because I know I can't go very much wider than this cover. All right. So, you see, I'll just go down through there and tear those off. And if I have any on the, any of these others, I'll do the same thing. So there are my three signatures. And they'll go in just like this. In my soft cover. And see, that's why I couldn't couldn't make them too much wider because once you put these in there and you're so that once you sew these in your spine then that's going to take up some room back here so you're not going to have a lot of room out here on the end to make your paper any wider so you definitely want to get you a little template and set it up so that you won't make your paper wider than what your cover is so that's how they're going to stitch in probably like I said, I will do a little bit of changing to them, but not much. All right, I'm going to take these clips off just so that I can look at it in my cover. Oh yeah, that's going to work fine right there. Look at that. That's going to be pretty. It's going to be very pretty. I like it. And it feels so good. Love that. And then we're going to have these little frayed edges. That's going to be pretty. And we will decorate with probably some lace and different things on the front. And I may even add more pages. I think I have room to add just a few more pages in here. Just a few more pages yeah all right so that is it for this tutorial that's just putting your signatures together and getting them ready for your book now on the next video what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll start with our signatures and we'll decide on the front here we're we going to decorate this or we're going to put pockets on it or we're going to put an image on here are we going to put pockets on the inside are we going to stamp on some of these plain pages uh, put belly bands, pockets. I'll use some of my ephemera things that I've already got made and we'll decorate all of these up before we stitch them in. Um, we won't put our tags and things in there, but I like to do a lot of my pockets and you definitely want to do any stitching or anything like that. You want to do those before you sew your signatures in. And I did forget this little piece. Let's insert him in there somewhere. We we'll probably put an envelope in each one since we've Looks like we've still got a little bit of room here. Okay. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you're learning how to make your soft cover junk journal. We'll be back tomorrow. We will put more, uh, we'll probably put a few more pages in here. We'll do some stamping, some pockets, tags, different things like that, so we can finish this little album up. All right, we'll talk to you later. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.